Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've been having a little bit of a clean up and I discovered that I had not one, but five of this shaped glass vase. At the weekend, I was having a tidy up here in the studio and I found some beautiful plants and I couldn't find a container to put into them. And then I thought, you know what? Why don't I paint that so that I can use that as a pot for some plants? Well, I am so pleased that I had that lovely visual and had that tidy up because this is a wonderful shaped container. I love that. It is an urn. It's just beautiful. I actually stopped using it because I couldn't put my, my silk stems into it because you know how I feel about seeing stems in it. So I decided I would paint finish them with some chalk and it is perfect. There is the white one that I did. <gasps> so gorgeous. And then I had a vision for a black one. The black I had didn't work. So I've reinvented my chalk paint recipe. And here it is, a third of a cup of plaster of Paris, a third of a cup of tap water, mix them up and then put it into a, a cup of flat black acrylic paint. Stir it and then slap it on and you're ready to go. Now, I've got a little tip that I want to share with you in regard to shiny, shiny, shiny before you put the chalk paint on, which will stick to most things. This here is called frosted glass, and it gives the illusion, illusion of the glass being frosted. I've got lots of things I want to do with this. Now, what I did was I sprayed the exterior of the vase with this, and this is the effect that you get. Now, it's almost like you've put an undercoat onto there, which means that when you put the chalk paint on, there's gonna be no issues with it coming off. Now, this, I'll just do a quick, quick, quick little coat to show you what it looks like. So they say, all those experts out there, that once you make your chalk paint, you, it doesn't last for very long. Well, I want you to know that that's rubbish. And as I said, the reason why I mixed up mine was because I wanted a lovely, lovely, lovely black. Okay, so just once you've made it up, just give it a good stir ooh, each time you use it, and that will just ensure that it's well mixed. And when it goes on, to your glass. Look at that, it's just marvellous because it sticks as you apply it, which I thought was just fantastic because in my little uh, wanders around looking at what people are doing and people send me little notes and say, oh, did you know this, Astor, or did you know this, or have you tried this? I actually do try them myself, and if I think they're going to work, I'll share, but if they're not, I'll be letting you know that don't even, uh, don't even try it. Okay, so just keep two coats, and what I like to do with the glass is put it on tonight, leave it until the morning to do the next coat, and two coats is pretty much all you need. The thicker the coat, the more likely it might chip or fall off. And also, don't forget, it's not gonna be a robust container and surface that you can do you know, rough things with. You're still gonna have to love it because um, it might still come off. But I just know that by using that frosted glass, it is fantastic stuff. Okay, let me just get rid of this to one side. Now, once you've done that and it's dried, you will need a protective wax. Well, in my cupboard, I had a dark wax, but the dark wax was too brown. So I have invented, oh, I'm so excited, and I'll show you this another day, but I'll give you the recipe now. It's 100 grams of vegetable oil, any kind of oil will do. 40 grams of beeswax, put those into a double boiler and let them melt. Then put 10 grams of charcoal, and if you've only, don't use the, the, those little baguette things or whatever they are for a barbecue. Get some activated charcoal or similar 
kind of charcoal, even a bit of wood and just break it off and grind it up. And then just give it a stir. And this is what you are left with. Now I'll just get this here and I'll show you. Where's my little, ah, oh, here it is. What I mean, so this, oh, it's fantastic stuff. And it's like nugget. That's where I got the idea from. So I wanted something that was quite black and four containers like this. Oh God, it's a bit cold in here. Just give it a, probably if I'd used a brush, but that was the black that I wanted. And you will have to give it a protection. And it's just a matter of just dabbing that on gently. And this will give an illusion of shine. Now I wasn't going to do this, but I might as well, I'll do the base and allow that to be shiny. But it just is like a protection. Just put that on. It is, it's just like nugget. And I just couldn't believe how easy it was because I looked at the ingredients on the, the, like the list of what's in the, the protection wax that you get. And pretty much there's only beeswax and a bit of oil and some color. So put that onto there, let it dry and then just give it a little sheen around the bottom and mm -hmm. that will just give it some protection. Oh, but that is fabulous. Can you see what that's looking like? Very clever, I'm very happy with that. And I think now that what I'm thinking, yes, you can definitely see it, and with that sheen in there, oh, it's quite a nice effect, even if I say so myself. Right, when I come back, I'm gonna show you the easy things that you can do with it, and as I said, I wanted them to just have plants in them, so I'll clear my deck, and then I'll show you what it looks like. <sighs> I do love those vases. Now this is what I was meaning by putting them into a vase and you, you know, like it wasn't going to do anything for visually that is not doing anything for me. But watch this. <gasps> Better. And I just, I'm having a wee dinner party for the engineer because he's going to be having a special birthday. And I just wanted to have plants on the table. I think that that's a fantastic way of just pre having nice, gorgeous greens into a nice vase. I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. And I will put flowers in these in due course. See you again another day.